Well, our top, top story. Well, it seems it will cost the UK government approximately £169,000 or $215,000 to send a refugee to a country such as Rwanda instead of keeping him or her in the UK. That's the estimated cost of the British government's ambitious plans to keep refugees at bay. And according to the Home Secretary, Sula Braverman's latest cost estimates, these are the numbers. Now, according to the UK government, the cost of deporting each individual to to Rwanda would include over $130,000 payment to Rwanda for hosting each asylum seeker, around $28,000 for the flight and escorting, and $22,900 for processing the legal costs. The UK Home Secretary claims the government would save at least $135,000 for every person deterred from entering the UK by irregular means. Uh, brave men said that unless action is taken, the cost of housing asylum seekers will rise to around $14 billion a year, which currently stands somewhere near $4.5 billion. Controlling the arrival of illegal migrants on small boats into the UK is one of the five priorities of the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. Uh, for weeks, Sunak and brave men have been under heavy pressure by senior Tory backbenchers to come up with a tentative plan as the Conservative Party is already behind the main opposition Labour Party in opinion polls and all this ahead of the national election due next year. The opposition parties believe this is a non-workable plan. The Labour Party says the economic assessment is a complete joke and it failed to accurately predict what the overall cost of the plan would be. On the other hand, the Scottish National Party accuses the government of sending an huge amount of money. The SNP also criticized the government for deporting desperate people while failing to help people in Britain with the rising cost of mortgages and food bills. Meanwhile, a new report urges the government to rule out any intention to detain or forcibly remove asylum-seeking children to Rwanda. The committee has called uh, for an urgent review of safeguards for vulnerable people in all types of asylum accommodation. Also, the Court of Appeal will be handling, uh, handing down the judgment on whether Rwanda flights are lawful or not at all. And for more on a comprehensive and understanding of the matter, our correspondent Alex Izzat has sent us this report from London. Listen in. One of Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's promises was to get down the amount of illegal migrants coming into the country. And that seemed like a losing battle. When he made that promise, it was when he was planning to send at least 250 people to Rwanda per month. So far, there's been zero. And now this assessment claims it would cost £60,000 per person more than if they were kept in the UK. And the total is made up of how much is given to that country to take the migrants' flight and staff to processes. But of course, there would be no cost if they were actually deterred from entering in the first place, a plan that hasn't quite worked out yet. Now, the report does show additional savings could include accommodation, cost, benefits, social housing and healthcare if they stayed in the UK. But the illegal migration bill is still currently going through the House of Lords before it goes back to the House of Commons. And it is trying to stop those people making illegal asylum claims and try to detain them before they get deported. This is Alex Isaac reporting from London for We On. World is One.